Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the world of Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection on PS4. Today, we're going to begin my playthrough of what many consider the best entry in the series. A, the game that a lot of people said that if you didn't have a PlayStation 3 when this game came out, this was the game that gave you a reason to get a PlayStation 3. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. So let's get going here and see how the story of our friends Nate, Sully, Elena, how it continues from there. And no, this is not a continuous speedrun. Easy. How does the story continue for our friends here? in what has become Naughty Dog's Hallmark franchise. In Drake's fortune, we discover. Oh, hold on. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo, on his deathbed, 1324. In Drake's fortune, we discovered El Dorado. Well, sort of. It ended up being just a statue that was cursed. What shall we discover this time? And Nate is all bloodied, sitting in a train. And right off the bat, I can tell you this looks absolutely gorgeous on a PS4. That's my blood. That's my blood. Okay, my blood. Nate, why are you bleeding? And why are you... Oh, oh no. Oh, that's why! The train is upside down! Or rather, it looks like it's hanging from a cliff. Oh, boy. Nice job there, Nate. Better hang on, buddy. Oh, that looks like it's a long way down. Holy. How? Nate, I can't leave you alone for five minutes, and you've already gotten yourself in this kind of situation. Calamity Drake. He's earned the nickname. Calamity Drake. Look at this. He's hanging from a... What a way to start the game. He's hanging from a train that is hanging off a cliff. So I gotta climb up. <laughs> if I was him, I'd be like, how the heck do I keep getting myself in these situations? Ah! Oh, great. Now the pipe may, may come undone. Okay, maybe that's not the right way. Alright, let's try the other way. Unbelievable, Nate. Ah, 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 oh boy. Ah. You better have a logical and rational explanation for this, Nate. There you go. Get around. Ah, here we go. Let's climb up. Use the pipes underneath the train. Oh boy! Oh, look out! Oh! Oh, yeah, by the way, we where are we? Like in the Himalayas? Look at these mountains covered in snow. It's, it's pouring snow. Where the heck is he? I mean, it's like, why is he in this? <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll find out. And he's having to do this with what looked like a really bad wound in his gut there. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, heads up. Never know if all of a sudden some rock is going to fall and knock you off. I'm guessing this train is about to go off the edge any second here. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, Nate. Oh, look at his... Oh! Oh, boy. Ah! Oh! Oh, that can't be good for that. I mean, look at his side. Was it his rib? I mean, look at that. Was that like a knife wound or a gunshot wound? Look at all that blood. Oh, that that cannot help. <laughs> that impact he just had. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Here we go. And then... Jump! Ugh. Woo! All right. All right, Nate. We're good. We're good. We're good, buddy. Get up! 
Atta boy. Atta boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Nate. Nate, work with me here. I'm trying to get you to climb. Alright, there we go. Get up. Get up. Atta boy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh. No, no. Come on. Don't. Don't. Don't give way on me, chairs. Come on. Get up. There you go. Come on. We can do this. And... Hey! Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, there goes the chair. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! oh. Hang on, buddy! Oh, man. <laughs> I cannot wait to see how he ended up in this position. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Well, I'm guessing we're, like, maybe in Asia. Because there are, like... If you look at the, the side of the train there... I'm guessing that's either... May, maybe Chinese or... Si oh! Okay, maybe I should have actually been paying attention. Didn't realize that was going to lead to his first death. I just started and already I've died. Well, our first death of the game. I'm sure it won't be the last. <laughs> If I recall, I think I may have died the most in this game. It does kick it up in terms of the difficulty. Although, actually, the first one was pretty difficult on its own in terms of the combat. I think they made it better in this one. But still, I mean, I think this may be the longest entry in terms of how long it takes you to beat the game. Of the three games so far. Come on, Nate. There we, there we go. Come on. Atta boy. Gotta do this all over again. Because I was talking rather than paying attention. I was trying to see if we could figure out where we are. But if you look at the train, it looks like it's either a train that maybe it came out of China or Hong Kong. Which I guess would explain the location of the snowy mountains. Just a wild guess on my part. Okay, this time I'm going to pay attention to what's going on. There we go. That up, boy. Get up. Get up. There you go. Come on. Get up. Climb up. Atta boy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, come now. Come now. Come on. There you go. Grab that ladder. Get up. Get up. Come on. Bur oh, boy. Oh, no. This other car is going to go down. No. Go. Oh, he's hurt. Too hurt to probably too hurt to run. Come on. Come on, Nate. Move. Move, Nate. Move it! Hurry, it's going down! Ah! Get up! Climb up! Ah! There goes the train! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He did it! He got up there! Oh! I'm guessing this is like a flashback. Now we've gone from the snowy mountains to the sunny beach. Drinking a beer. Buy me a drink, sailor. <laughs> Harry Flynn? Buy your own drink, buddy. Hey! Whoever you are. Oh, Harry. What the hell are you okay, doing? Okay, so he knows him. I'm looking for you, mate. Uh oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. By the way, that is the voice actor of oh, Alistair from Dragon Age Origins. Um, Steve this. Valentine, really? I believe. A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for Yeah, that's definitely Steve Valentine. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Try me. Oh, no. The no, Travels of Marco just, Polo? Just, hear me out, no, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone, it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes Ooh, down. hello there. What? Chloe Fraser. Chloe Nate, Fraser? Drake, <laughs> Nathan. Drake. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best Speaking of Dragon Age Origins, I think that's Claudia like Black, the voice of Morgan. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all we got all our buddies from Dragon Age Origins here in this game, I guess. <laughs> Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the. Ooh, we planning a heist? Bob's your up. Nice. 
And what? No, what Bob's your uncle. I hear you ask. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's a it. lamp? An oil lamp. What do you expect? A genie to be in there? <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. What? What makes you think I would know? It sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Hello. Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to. Uh huh. Work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. Probably not. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. No, I don't think so. I think it's a riddle. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. Uh -huh. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Whoa! What? Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships. And the past. That's quite a gap. So, so somewhere out there, there are thirteen ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure, waiting to be. And found. a lot of other that people, and they just disappeared. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. That's why they want the lamp. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the thirteen. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. Either that, or it could be act the actual writing on Sorry. the lamp there. We're dicking this guy over, right? <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Forget whoever hired us. We're going to do it for ourselves. That's the way to do it. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, what could possibly go Now, wrong? wait a minute. Where's Sully? Why is Nate here by himself? Where's Sully and Elena? Oh, now we're back at the present. Where Nate is a bloody snowy mess. <laughs> oh, there's the rest of the train. On fire. <laughs> what the heck happened here? How does what happened at that beach connect to this? this is this is this a result of what happened after they apparently planned that heist? Is this what it led to? Oh gosh, what happened in between? Uh oh, uh oh, tree, tree. Better hurry, Nate. Hurry. Before the tree collapses on top of you. Ah, oh, oh boy. Alright, he's clear. Woo! Come on, Nate. Oh, and of course, in a bunch of snow, you would you are still wearing a t-shirt and jeans. And an undershirt. That's all you're wearing in all the snow. Dude, you have got to change how you pack for winter. I'm just saying, you're, you're, you're still dressed in what you were dressed in at the beach. At the beach? Okay. Here? No. Oh, at least we found a, well, at least we just found a gun. Oh, a treasure. Our first treasure. A Saraswati statue. First treasure of the game. I missed a lot of those when I did the first game. I'm, I, I know I'm going to miss a lot in this game. It's one of those where you'd have to look up a video and see the location of every single one so that you would never miss it. Because you're probably going to miss a lot. Ooh, ammo. Very nice. Why do I have a feeling I'm about to encounter whoever it was that put me in this position? And they're going to be like, hey, he's still alive. Get him. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Oh, for goodness sakes, Nate. Just shoot the lock. There we go. Okay. R1 to reload. Alright. Oh, man. Look at his hands. They're covered in blood. Oh, I knew it! What did I just say? 
Some guys say, he's alive! Karma's a bitch. <laughs> nice, Nate. Even if you're a bloody mess, you still got your witty one-liners. I'm guessing that whoever it was that they chose to screw over when they went for that lamp for themselves probably was like, oh, so you're going to cut me out of the deal, huh? And that's probably what led to all this. This is what I'm guessing. I'm trying to figure out the leap of logic of how we went from on a beach like, hey, we're going to steal this oil lamp to all of a sudden we're in the in the snowy mountains where he's a bloody mess with people <laughs> like, hey, he's alive, kill him. <sighs> I can't believe he's able to make that jump with that with that wound in his in his uh his rib area. My gosh, can't believe he's still able to jump and climb. Oh boy! Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. Oh my gosh! You just got yourself out of a falling train. You keep getting you're gonna, you're gonna put yourself in another one. Oh great, he got knocked out. So we're gonna have another flashback, I guess. Uh. Room service. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, well. So much for thought, huh. You might tell me what the hell is going on. Uh, wait, are these two having a thing? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face. Oh, I guess they know each other from before anyway, that. And he was like, "What are you exactly doing here?" Made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Oh. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly <laughs> professional. No. <laughs> when I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in. Oh my. On the action. Hello. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said. We pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. Oh, you make it sound so easy. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. This is Uncharted. Yeah. It's never that and easy. And we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. I'm guessing he and Elena this time. broke up, is what sure. I'm guessing, considering this. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Oh my. I'm guessing that was a nice little flashback for Nate. He's like, well, if I have to dream about something while unconscious, I guess I'll dream about that. Oh, oh, that's right. Still hurts. Ow. Ow. I should probably get out of this train before it falls over the cliff and I die. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna, really going to jump for that pipe, is he? I have to jump for it, don't I? I regret nothing! <laughs> How is he able to do that in his condition? How? Oh, no, I guess we're not going that way. Oh, sure, we'll go this direction. This looks so much better. How many... How much more impact can he take? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. First cutscene, really. Whoa, what is that? Is that a dagger? 
Some, tr some that looks like a treasure. Is that what they came for? So that's a pretty nice looking dagger. Treasure! Just like the golden statue from that island. Oh, are we now gonna see what happened with the heist? Istanbul, four months earlier. Are you sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? Huh. If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't <laughs> afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Ooh, going in what, through the sewers? Underground. This way. So our time gap is what, so what four months? Wow. They switch the patrols. Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. <laughs> oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. You cocky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. This is Nate. We're talking about. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this sure. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Why do I have a feeling that this all went wrong? Chloe. We had a plan and, well, see on the other it side. all fell to pieces. Looking forward to it. Oh, that's right. Their little plan to split it and then run away. You sure you know where you're going? I don't know your ways. Chapter two, breaking and entering. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Um, no. I rather hate that feeling, actually. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Nate, why'd you let me do that? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Yeah, what were the good old days? I don't exactly remember them. Like you apparently do. Oh, boy, there we go. <laughs> Nate, you scare me every time you do one of those. Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey. Ah. Now, what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? Aha. Uh -huh. And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? <laughs> what? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Ah, uh, he didn't get it. <laughs> Here comes. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. thanks. Let's get climbing. There we go. And then just straight up. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Huh. Here we go. All right. I think we're in. We're good. Gonna have to be careful with those flashlights. Don't want any guards to see a, uh, just a random light and they're like, Hey, what's that? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. There it is. I was like, I saw a sparkly. There it is. A Byzantine gold coin. Two of 100 treasures. Look 
looking around, see if there's anything else in here. Guess not. Yep, there we go. Aha. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, yeah, on. Dude, you're right there. Why'd you have to use the walkie? Yeah, I dropped it down for you. <laughs> Gee, thanks. It's not like I would have expected you to do that anyway. You're so kind, Harry. All right. This is the way to the courtyard. Ah! Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. Yeah, you may want to avoid All that right. steam. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. Let's see. See if you can find it then. Aha. Let's check up here. Aha. Here it is. Come on. You got it. There we go. Nate just drop. What? Nate, I said just drop. There we go. All right. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Jump and then drop and then shimmy. Do the shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. What did I say? Calamity Drake. Oh. There are the guards. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Oh, I think I see a treasure Once there. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Treasure in this room? Let's see. Take a look around. Oh, oh, what was that? Aha! I knew there had to be a treasure in this room. A Ottoman ring. I'll take a look at those, like, extra things, and I'll probably show them in the next video. Locked. Great. Good job I came prepared. Ha! Huh. I pick more than my nose, my friend. Ew. There's an alarm. You sound proud of that. It's new since last time. Uh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. Let's see. It's got to be around here somewhere. Well, let's follow the cable. That's usually a good idea of where to find the box that works those things. Okay, so it goes around the room. I think I may have found it. Right here. Okay. Of course, flip there. the big red one. There we go. All right, we're in. Dude, I'm right here. You don't need to use the... <laughs> Whatever. Fine. Go ahead. Shit. I got what? It. What kind of turn was that? Do you see that? He made a quick like whoop about face. Oh. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> hey, Nate and I worked off that. I said good night. He said sleep tight. Okay. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're going to have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Wonderful. Well, let's do it. Oh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Actually, let me quit, take a quick look over here, see if there was maybe anything over here. Nope, nothing. All right, we will continue our infiltration and our heist.
trying to make our way up there so we can get the lamp when we come back. Stay tuned! <laughs> 